Okay, you guys, welcome back to Recycling to Freedom. And on today's adventure, we are going to go to Goodwill Bins. I don't go very often. I've actually been there once before now, just to see what we can get, because clearly I don't have enough stuff. Getting inventory is way more fun, which can be scary than selling the inventory. But at some point you gotta get rid of everything you've got and get more. So you gotta list everything so you can get more. Uh, the Goodwill bins are very competitive and there are people there who wear gloves. I personally don't. Um, I take my phone, leave my pocket so I can scan things while I'm going around to see if it's a brand I don't know, to see if it's worth picking up. It's something worthwhile. I have definitely made mistakes like, oh, I think this is a good brand and it's not. It's like a store brand, which there's nothing wrong with store brands as I wear thrift store clothes. But if I'm gonna resell it for money, I don't want like Target because I'm just going to go to Target and get it and then it's new. So we're going to go there, see what we can get. Um, hopefully it's not too crowded today. I, I don't know if it will be, but here's hoping. Um, I don't know if I'm going to give myself a time limit because even like at regular thrift stores, you get carried away and you can be in there for hours. It's never like a quick trip for me. It's that solid hour at a regular thrift store and this is just the bin. So they just keep bringing them out. They're very picky, you have to stand behind the yellow lines and they may or may not yell at you if you step over the line before all the bins are out. There are rules and you can't break them because I'm not looking to get kicked out of Goodwill bins. I like that place. So off on the road, let's see what we can find. Place is crowded. Let's see if I can find anything in here today. I've only been here once before. Let's see. Okay, I think it was a success. About a little less than two hours, I want to say. Yeah, about two hours. I got a cart full, $43. And those jeans on top, randomly saw those. I quickly looked up 50 bucks and said, Sam Edelton, right without getting in line. Not dead. Sort through it all, wash it all, and list it. Okay, it's been a few days. I'm now home. I've washed, sorted, I went through everything I got from the bins on Monday, so two days ago. I didn't think about it when I left, but it was Columbus Day. I'm not used to being off any random days during the week. So the place was so crowded, which was fine. So I have a total of everything's in wash. There's a few things that still need a little bit of love. There's a tank top in the wash with like a pen stain I'm trying to get out. So here's everything. And almost everything has already been photographed, measured, and is listed or ready to be listed. So we have 33 items, including shoes, shirts, tank tops, jacket I tried to keep. It's a kid size, so it looks kind of funny on me, so we're not keeping it. Shorts, dresses, tank top, blouses, men's, women, kids. I'm not that picky. Uh, this pair of pants I need to investigate to make sure that they weren't actually hemmed because there were a few by it that you could tell were shortened. So we have 33 items. It was a total of 26.6 pounds. I'll have a picture of my cart. And I paid $43. So if you divide that out, it's a total of about $1.30 a piece. Did I buy cheaper and stuff I normally wouldn't? Of course, but it was a dollar. It's just about garage sale prices. So even if it doesn't sell or sells for cheap, that's okay with me. I did pick up these pair of Sam Edlock shoes, which I sold very similar ones before while waiting in line. There's a lady who put them down next to her while looking in the bins. I leaned over and I'm like, do you want those shoes? And she's like, no, and handed them to me. Brand new. Not a flaw on them. Not my size, otherwise I'd keep them. I can't wear a size 10. Wish I could. And there was another pair of pants I picked up right before I checked out. They felt different to me. So I looked up the brand real quick. They are uh, Serenade. I had never heard of them. Um, I have them listed for, I don't know, like 60 bucks. That would cover everything. So I don't think that's too bad. And, and I could definitely tell that they were groups of resellers that go there all the time because they knew all the employees, they knew the manager. 
Will I be going back there soon? Absolutely. I've actually only been to the Fin Semi twice now. The first time I kind of failed because I just bought random stuff because I was excited. This time, I played a little bit smarter. One more fun fact. I normally don't pick up green. I had the hardest time getting the right color of green to show up in pictures. I've tried different <laughs> filters. <laughs> I have the hardest time getting green to show up in pictures. They always come out a funny color. I've tried different filters, but I have to find the right sun and today it's raining. So we'll have to try another time. And I've learned the hard way because I didn't know the first time I was there. They actually weigh everything by pound. So you don't have to unload anything from your cart. You literally just roll your cart onto a big platform on the ground and they weigh it while you're standing there and it calculates it out. And it says you owe $12, whatever it is. Uh, the first time I was there, I think I spent 30 bucks. I don't remember for sure, but I want to say it's like $1.39 a pound, which if you break it down, it's close to like garage sale prices. So you never realize how heavy some clothes are, like heavy jeans, because they add up. But you have a full cartload of stuff and just slide it on in and see uh, 10 pounds, 20 pounds, 30 pounds. T-shirts, best option, because they don't weigh a lot and they're light and you can get more but jeans you can sometimes profit more. So you gotta find the fine line like, do I want 10 shirts, five pairs of jeans, or if I'm voting, both. Cause it's just by the pound. Get it all, sell it all, or give it away. I've definitely done that. I got too excited the first time I was there and bought stuff that I had never heard of, brands I thought were great. I bought a men's like size 5X suit that I then redonated. Cause what do I know about suits? And it was all damaged, it was ripped. I got carried away. I got too excited. I think I actually threw a few things away. So this time I got to slow the roll, not get too excited and look, she'll look at the brands. I will get cheaper brands while I'm there just because I'm spending so little. Um, I think the best I've done at like garage sales for clothes is 50 cents or a quarter, but it's usually like people at the end of the day, like just getting rid of stuff and you're just bundling it all up in a bag. But typically on like a normal thrift store, I normally go to jeans are four or five dollars. They have an end of the summer sale where it's the bag sale and it's all clothes that will fit into a bag. Hint, hint, if you ever have one of those, roll the clothes, you get more in the bag. The manager taught me that. But then that way you get more. So let's see how many pounds of clothing and how much each pound is. $1.39, but I'll confirm that.